Good morning, First Orlando. My name is Lauren Yates, and I'm on staff here at the church where I serve in our senior pastor's office, Pastor David Yu. First off, I want to say good morning. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope that you are having a wonderful Saturday. I just want to take the next few minutes and share with you something that I feel like the Lord's put on my heart, um, not only in this season, but as we're starting to phase out of this season. Um, one of the questions that I've been wrestling with recently is, what's one thing that I'm going to take with me out of this season? And as I've been reflecting back, the one constant that I keep coming back to is the fact that I have been spending my time abiding in Christ. Any extra time that I've had, I have spent right here on this porch abiding in Christ. And one of the funny things is when quarantine first became part of my daily vocabulary and yours as well, I rushed to Lowe's and decided that I was going to redecorate my porch and not only redecorate it, but make it a place where I can sit in the morning and have coffee and have quiet time with the Lord. So I went, I bought the twinkle lights, the comfortable chair, the plants, the desk, and I have spent most mornings out here just abiding in Christ. And so when I think about this question, what's one thing that I'm gonna take with me out of this season, I'm reminded that this time has brought me so much peace and comfort in a time where anxiety and fear has just been something that I have wrestled with more than ever. And so I want to read to you a passage that I feel like the Lord put on my heart months ago before I even knew what this season was going to hold. And it's in John chapter 15 and it's verse 4. And Jesus says this, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. And in this is such a beautiful reminder that I cannot bear fruit on my own. I was not created to do that on my own. But through abiding, I can be connected to our life source. And in this time, I've been able to combat that anxiety with peace. And I've been able to overcome some of those fears that started creeping up again inside of me. And as we're coming out of this season and into a new season, I just want to ask you this question. What's one thing that you're going to take with you out of quarantine? What's one thing that you're going to continue to do in the next season that you have found in this season to bring you peace or comfort? Maybe that's a new routine. Maybe that's time spent with your family or maybe that's cutting off some of the distractions with the news or with social media i just want to ask you today to take some time think about that one thing that you're going to take with you out of quarantine and i want to encourage you to do that today grab a friend or take some time on your own and just get along with the lord and ask him what he would have you take out of this season into the next I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. I can't wait for all of us to be back together again. I know I miss you and we'll see you soon.